Hello friends. I hope you are well prepared for your final exams. In this session, today we will be discussing which chapters to study to score the maximum and minimum marks in mathematics. Here we can see that we have the sample question paper of 2018-19. One of the most visible change that we can see is there are internal options in section A and in section B. Previously there were no options in these sections. Now since these are one of the easiest and the most scoring sections, CBSE has eased this also a little bit. Let's form a table which consists of number of questions asked from each chapter and in which section they are asked and the weightage of each question and each chapter. For the students who want to score the maximum marks, well, you will have to study everything. You will have to study all the chapters, all the theorems and you will have to solve all the type of questions too. If you really love mathematics, this shouldn't be a difficult task for you. For the section D, this is considered to be the difficult section, but also the section with the maximum weightage. The questions are asked from these chapters only. Study these chapters thoroughly if you want to score full marks or 90% also. Now this section consists of 8 questions of 4 marks each. Don't get afraid of this section. Read the questions thoroughly and try to understand the question. Attempt all the questions in this section even if you know just the formula or few steps. Draw diagrams and tables wherever necessary. If question is asked in the statement form, write the answer also in the statement form. This also carries the marks. Now while solving the theorems, if you don't know the proof, that is also okay. Just write the correct given to prove and draw the diagram too. This will fetch you one and a half mark. Now let's move to the students who want to score roughly around 65 or 70% marks in math. Well if we see in section C, there are 10 questions of 3 marks each and the questions are asked from these chapters. Now if you guys focus on these 10 chapters, you have a chance of scoring 56 marks out of 80, which is 70%. So try to focus on these chapters as they will help you to score the most. Chapters like coordinate geometry, trigonometry and triangles, which are considered to be a little difficult, have an internal option. So you don't have to worry a lot about this. Well, if you're sure that you are completely thorough with these 10 chapters, then no one can take away these 56 marks from you. To score these 56 marks, please make diagrams wherever necessary because diagrams also carry marks. Try not to miss any steps in the calculations as they also carry marks. Now, if you just want to pass in math exams, which means you need 22 marks in minimum, which is 33%. Now, well, in order to score the minimum marks, you will have to attempt section A and section B. Now, in these sections, the questions are asked from these eight chapters. Now, if you total up the number of marks these chapters hold, it comes to 49. So, if you are completely thorough with these chapters, you can really score 49 too. But, let's make it even more practical. Assuming that you don't know any question from section D, then we directly reduce 16 marks from these 49 marks, which comes to 33. Well, that's not a bad score, right? So, let's at least aim to score 49 marks so that we can score as much as we can. Always keep your goals a little higher. You may add a few chapters in this list which you really like and can help you to score even better. Well, I hope that the session has given you a detailed insight of the sample paper 2019. Do like this video, comment if you have any queries and yes, don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.